Welcome to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard. Glad that you could join us. Our guest is Dr. Alfred Gelhorn, Associate Professor of Clinical Rehabilitation Medicine and Director of Sports Medicine at Weill Cornell Medical Center to discuss his experience with my medics. Uh, welcome to the program, Dr. Gelhorn. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Nice. We're here to talk about my medics, but first, give our listeners a bit of background about yourself for those who uh, aren't familiar with you. Sure. So um, I'm a physiatrist, a rehabilitation physician uh, with additional board certification in sports medicine. I am a clinician and also a researcher, and uh, the majority of my practice focuses on joint injuries and tendon injuries. So those are the, the most common injuries that you see in your practice dealing with the joints and the tendons? Correct. I, uh, I, I see a wide range of uh, patients, obviously, from uh, recreational athletes to elite athletes and uh, people who sort of injure themselves just doing day-to-day -day things. Um, uh, osteoarthritis of the knees and hips is probably one of the most common things I see, but also uh, tendon degeneration, both acute uh, tendon injuries and more chronic tendinopathy. And um, I'm assuming that you're treating these common injuries in the traditional ways. Well, we, we, we do use uh, traditional uh, methods. We also are sort of exploring more novel methods and regenerative methods to treat these injuries. Uh, the traditional uh, methods for treating this um, have some, some significant drawbacks. And uh, for instance, the use of anti-inflammatory medications orally, which we, which we have relied on for many, many years for both tendon and joint injuries can have significant, uh, significant negative side effects for the cardiovascular system, the renal system, and the GI system. And so there's a push to try to get away from uh, those types of medications. Um, similarly, um, steroid injections, cortisone injections, which we've also used many, many years for uh, both joint and tendons, can have a degenerative effect over time, and the short-term benefits uh, have to be balanced with, uh, with the realization that Oftentimes when we do this, we're actually long-term causing more damage to the structures that we're trying to treat. Now, you've had some experience with a, a brand new biologic, I do believe. Um, can you talk about your experience with this particular product? Yeah, absolutely. I've been uh, using a product called AmnioFix uh, that's produced by Mimetics for about three years now. And this is a, uh, this is a placental allograft. So when uh, women have scheduled cesarean section, the placenta is donated and processed so that uh, what, we, what we get is a clean, uh, highly, uh, highly pure and highly um, a concentrated uh, source of growth factors. The, um, the, the placental allograft is full of about, about 200 or more, 220 um, biologically active factors. Um, it comes to me in a, in a dehydrated form, and that's reconstituted in clinic just with saline and then uh, with with guidance, with ultrasound guidance in my in my practice, that's injected directly into the site of injury, either the joint or the tendon. Um, this is something that uh, that's a very new approach, and it's it's really based on the idea that instead of simply masking symptoms uh, with with cortisone, for instance, or anti-inflammatories to get the symptoms to decrease, we're actually trying to modify the the patient's own healing response and. Uh, there's some good evidence in, in animal models and then also clinically that we're able to do this. And the, uh, the injections are causing, uh, number one, a decrease in inflammation in the tissues. Number two, uh, actually a stimulation of growth. So the stem cells that are present in the joints and the tendons will actually become more active in, the, in, the sort of, in this milieu. And then uh, there's increased uh, vascular growth to the area and decrease in tissue breakdown. So a lot of positive effects that, uh, that sort of, uh, we would sort of consider a regenerative effect. And, uh, and that's sort of well demonstrated both in animals and I was saying in some of the studies that we've been doing clinically. Was there anything unexpectedly beneficial in this recent study of uh, AmnioFix? Uh, there's, there's been a couple of, uh, a couple of surprising things. Uh, number one is, is when we think about uh, tendon injuries, a lot of the tendons that I've treated with this have been really chronic injuries, uh, patients with tendon pain for two years, five years, and, uh, and these are generally considered very, very challenging to treat to get better. Um, one, of the, one of the biggest surprises is that, uh, that with uh, essentially a single injection, a majority of these patients, 70 or 80% of these patients, 
as we follow them out to six months and even 12 months, are essentially approaching a cure. And so what I consider one of the most challenging uh, injuries to treat and one of the most disabling from a, from a sports perspective are these tendon injuries. And to find something that is, uh, that is essentially a cure has been very, very rewarding for me and for my patients. Have you found any findings as they relate to the age of certain patients or to their, uh, I guess, their, their training, whether or not they're old or, or young, have they been stretched uh, in the proper way? Some of their exercise regimens and workouts, are those um, being considered? Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a great question. And, uh, and, we, and we definitely want to not minimize the effect of, uh, of appropriate loading on these tendons. A lot of these are overuse injury and uh, overuse injuries, and so we are very mindful of that as we put together a whole rehab program for them. Usually, part of the program includes uh, some formal physical therapy to load the, the tendons in the appropriate way. And there are some specific protocols that we use. One is called eccentric strengthening, which places the tendons under a particular type of load. That's beneficial um, in, in certainly in pretty much all circumstances when there's a chronic tendon, uh, tendon degeneration and a, and a tendon tear even. Um, that's, been, um, that's been part of the post-procedure protocol as I've used this. And that also, I think, has been cre- contributing to, uh, to the good effects of this. Even so, um, to the patients who I've seen in this sort of this chronic stage uh, who have received the injection with amniofix, have already tried some format of physical therapy. And so um, when that fails, when that and other traditional methods fail, this, this represents really a wonderful new option for us. Now, where can we go and uh, learn some more about MyMedics? Um, well, you, you can certainly um, uh, uh, get some more information directly from them at their website, which I, I believe is uh, MyMedics, M-I-M-E-D-X dot com. Um, the paper I recently published has been published in the, uh, the journal called PM&R. Uh, and that's uh, available online as well. It does uh, go in further detail about amniofix? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. The, you, you're talking about the study that, mm-hmm. uh, that was published recently? Yes. Yeah, so we, we, review, um, we review sort of the background literature there uh, and how it pertains to uh, tendon and joint injuries. It's a relatively uh, new field of research in, in the human population, um, and sort of veterinary medicine, this has been in use uh, for a little bit longer, and certainly in preclinical trials, uh, placental allograft's been used for a number of years uh, with with very good uh, very good scientific data. Well, I'm glad that you could uh, take the time, and I appreciate you coming in and talking with us today uh, about my medics and. Amnio Fix. It's been my pleasure, Neil. Thank you so much for having me. You've been listening to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard. Thank you for joining us in studio with Dr. Alfred Gelhorn, Associate Professor of Clinical Rehabilitation Medicine and Director of Sports Medicine at Weill Cornell Medicine. Transcripts and audio of the program are available at healthprofessionalradio.com.au and also at hpr.fm. Subscribe to our podcast on iTunes, listen in and download at SoundCloud and visit our affiliates page at hpr.fm.